What if you had a crystal ball? What if you could gaze into the cardiovascular system and see its overall health and capacity for recovery from acute illness and hemodynamic strain? Well, you have the power. Measure the shock index. Calculate the shock index by dividing the heart rate by the systolic blood pressure. Used to predict peri-intubation hypotension and cardiac arrest, the normal range is 0.5 to 0.7 in healthy adults. A value calculated to be greater than or equal to 0.8 reflects a high shock index. The shock index is a highly sensitive measure of the cardiovascular system's ability to overcome the stress of medication-facilitated airway management. Unless adequately assessed and managed, even mildly shocked patients will hemodynamically deteriorate 6 to 12 minutes after induction. Consider pre-treating a marginal shock index with the characteristic vasopressor support. Patients afflicted with underlying comorbidities present clinicians with many challenges. Pre-existing ailments adversely impact cardiovascular recovery following medication-facilitated airway management, an already hemodynamically tricky procedure. Patients who suffer from chronic conditions such as morbid obesity, diabetes, heart disease, COPD, asthma, dementia, and cancer may not be able to overcome the metabolic debt and cardiovascular compromise produced by the combination of medication-facilitated airway management, positive pressure ventilation, and laryngoscopy despite a near-normal shock index. Furthermore, cachexia, metabolic disorders, sepsis, Respiratory failure and chronic renal and hepatic disease present a collection of forecastable challenges for the astute clinician. For safety and favorable clinical outcomes, patients with significant underlying chronic illness must be prophylactically managed with pressor support even if the shock index falls in the higher end of the normal range. All patients with chronic severe past medical histories or present illness accompanied by a nearly elevated or high shock index, must receive vasopressor support before induction. Vital signs and shock index must be reassessed dynamically at two to three minute intervals to maintain a keen awareness of possible hemodynamic changes. The numeric shock index may not appreciably change much during your watchful eye. Deliver the patient to the ED in a favorable state by addressing the latent threats to hemodynamics caused by current and chronic illness and abnormal physiology. Excellent outcomes are feasible by EMS providers performing medication-facilitated airway management. Procedural planning and practice, rigorous assessment, and safe expert utilization of the protocols must guide the medication-facilitated airway management procedure.